Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about the DC animated film Injustice. So, uh, also the latest film from the DC animated studios, and uh, it's taken me a while, unfortunately, because I had a bit of an issue with the company that I bought it from, but I'm not going to name drop because I usually have a good experience from them. But, so, let's go with the film. Just, um, voice acting, pretty good. Story was... Yeah, it was alright. Um, <clears throat> I, as you know, if you follow my reviews, I really, really, really do like the DC animated films. I do think the majority of them are better than the live-action films. And so I've, I've seen a lot of them if not most and so when this came out i've not read the comic or played the game that it's based upon but i knew the basic premise so when it came out i was like oh that'd be kind of kind of interesting yeah why not let's just give it a go um and i watched it and i don't want to go so far as to say that i was bored because it was a relatively good watch but unfortunately, a lot of it is kind of things you've, you've sort of seen all before. Um, it follows a very similar sort of plot to Superman Red Sun. You know, although, although it doesn't sort of kick off in the same way, it, it treads a lot of the same steps and it ends in a similar kind of way. The fact that Superman ends up being this tyrant. He wants to do things for the greater good, but ends up being a complete dictator. So unfortunately for me, it was a little bit of a letdown because it was just, like I say, it was just something that we'd seen already before and it wasn't as... damaging to the Justice League as I was hoping it would be. Um, I know I, I, I go in with preconceptions of I, I sort of knew what the story was about and... And I was really hoping for something along the lines of Superman absolutely destroys them because he has gone crazy. And it was less about Superman going crazy as to Superman dealing with grief and then trying to stop everyone from having that kind of loss or that kind of grief in the entire world. And it, like I said, it, 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 it treads the same path as, as like a red sun. So... It was a little bit disappointing for me. I will say it was shocking the amount of deaths and blood in this film. And that that to me was actually sort of quite a sort of visceral moment, to be honest. It's, I think it was the first death. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who wants to watch it and hasn't seen it. I think it was the first death that happened. I really wasn't expecting it. It kind of came out of nowhere and I was like, wow, okay, this is... Um, this is, this is going somewhere different. <clears throat> they don't hold back when it comes to death. I will say that. So for, in that aspect, I appreciated it and, and actually kind of enjoyed it. You know, that, that's the kind of thing that I went in to see. I went in expecting a very gory uh, and, and violent film. Um, so in some aspects, I wasn't disappointed with that. It was just the story aspect for me that was a little bit of a letdown. Like I said, the voice acting was good. The animation style was, again, good. Um, <clears throat> the pacing of the film was also pretty good. It, this is the frustrating thing to me, that the writing and the pacing and the direction of the animated films is, is of such a high quality level. And they, for some reason, can't seem to replicate that with the, with the live action films. <clears throat> um, and it's 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 a just a big shame, but unfortunately for me, I do think Injustice was a little bit of a missed fire, and I I, I know it's a it's an Elseworld thing, so I've kind of got to give it a sort of a benefit of the doubt when it comes to it because there's a there's a fair amount of Elseworld stories that DC animated um, are, are telling, and. To be honest, there's, there's been quite a few of them that I've really appreciated. I, I absolutely love Gotham by Gaslight. I've not read the book that it was based upon, but I absolutely loved the film. So I I completely understand what they're doing with having these sort of alternate versions of um, 
of the sort of the main canon heroes. So I think there is there is that market for that, and I think they're doing a good job by doing that within the animated films. Um, but obviously they're also keeping up the main continuity of animation as well. Unfortunately, like I said, it was a little bit of a misfire for me um, c compared to some of the others that we've seen. What was the last one? It was the Long Halloween. That I thought was fantastic. So, um, unfortunately, I, I, although this is probably still better than a lot of the live action films, it just wasn't as good as it as it should have been, considering the, the, the quality of the DC animated films. Um, if you are a big fan of the comics, if you're a big fan of the uh, the video game, you might enjoy this a little bit more than I did. Um, I'm really hoping you do. But for anyone who's going in as a, a fan of DC, a fan of just the general DC animations, uh, it might not hit home, as, or it might not hit as hard as, as it would for the people that, that are tied to the source material. Um, so unfortunately, it was, um, it was a slight letdown for me, unfortunately. But Guys, it's always good to hear what you guys think about all of these things. Uh, let me know if you have read, played, or watched uh, Injustice, and let me know what you think about it. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because that really, really does help me out. And I'll see you all in the next video.